First and foremost, I want to give all glory, honors, and praises to Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai by Shem Rakakadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of the great millstone, teaching this truth time and time again, showing us how to be men, men of the Lord. The water Yahweh by Shem Shai. And uh, double honors to the apostles and elders of the great millstone. And um, I'm the brother Thaha Wam, and I want to start off this lesson with a scripture. This is Ezekiel chapter 9, verse 4. The Lord said unto him, go through the midst of the city. And he's talking to the angels, the, the hunters, through the midst of Jerusalem. And the only place that matters in Jerusalem is a people before it's a place. Uh, the city of peace, Yahweh by Shem Shai's people. And set a mark upon the foreheads of the man that mark. And then that's a, that word. This is not the same thing as the karagma. So I'm just doing edification shape. Sake. It's tawa. Tawa. Desire. Mark. A mark. As a sign of exemption from judgment. Not the karagma that you carnal bitch ass Edomites be doing. But, uh,. <laughs> Eat of mine. But that sigh and that cry for the abominations that are done midst in the city. And who are those people doing that? Who are those people that sigh and they cry? And like, you know, in the world, like, you know, a wicked motherfucker will do some wicked ass shit and you call him out. They was like, why are you complaining? They, well, what does Lord want? Put a mark of exemption that sigh and they cry. So take that to people that complain about your fucking wickedness. So you're supposed to sigh and cry for the abomination, abominations, the sodomites, these fucking Edom, Edomite pedophiles doing a midst of the city. So that's what spirit the Lord is giving the mark of exemption, that Tawab, that his elect has that. Look at this is what the Lord has told, um, told us to do. He didn't tell us, hey, you should just let it happen. Let everyone do. No, no. This is Isaiah chapter 58, verse 1. Cry a lie. Cry aloud. He was like, oh, like cry. You know, and he's not being like a bitch, like how women are, like crying, like, oh, I get it emotional. This is no. We're calling it out. Like they said, the Lord's going to come back like a travailing woman. A loud cry aloud in a voice. Spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Say, like, why you guys be yelling? And all this, or why are you always talking loud? They said the Lord's voice was uh, like many waters. Like it was loud. You'll hear it. You, you, you'll hear the Lord's voice. is like Yahweh by Hashem Shai. Uh, the, the, the Lord of, I mean, the Lord, like our God and Yahweh Shai, their voices, like, but the Lord's voice causes thunder and lightning at Israel, scared just for him to speak. We can't even hear his voice. And that's what he wants us to be as show my like a trumpet and show my people their transgressions. Tell them like, yeah, yeah, you wicked. Are you doing wicked shit? Repent or die in the house of Israel. Me, the house of Jacob, Yashurala, their sins. So does that say, hey, uh, let them do what? No, no, it doesn't say that. It's the Bible, so all these fucking Christians, you like, said how to let people live their life. Fuck that. If you being wicked, I'm going to say something, you mad about it, you don't put, be put to fucking death. That's it. But obviously, you don't want to do that at work, and obviously, you got to be seasoned with salt, because you let the, I mean, the filthy be filthy. You obviously know, but when we come on these highways and byways, when we do doing these lessons, that's what, what I'm talking about. In your everyday life, there's no point of just casting your pearls to these fucking wicked dumb motherfuckers anyway this is psalm chapter 34 verse 17 the righteous cry and the lord heareth the righteous cry so it's like oh it's like lord like when uh abel was slain by his wicked bitch ass brother cain uh <laughs> yeah because cain was a bitch ass nigga just like all these edomites are bitch ass niggas but <laughs> like <laughs> but uh <laughs> the Lord here, you know, he was crying out that, yeah, he just, hey, I mean, Cain just killed me. Lord, crying out through his blood to the Lord, like, well, look what happened. And the Lord heareth. 
we are we're supposed to be in that spirit of but uh, I'm gonna finish that um the righteous cry and the Lord heareth the believers the and delivers them out of all their trouble. So if you they said closed mouth don't be fed, so ask the Lord. Put your burdens onto Yahweh Shai and Mashiach, who is a moderator, and he they don't get it. Crying out to him, because we are the Lord's woman. You know, your woman will like, help me when a girl honestly and humbly wants your help and sees you as a man. That that's is no other greater feeling. That's why you gotta this is why you gotta put fucking fear of the Lord on these fucking people for them to even just do the right thing. That's why the water you have by Shema Shai for this judgment is about to go out on these fucking wicked people. Bitch ass, wicked, wicked ass people. I'm at this, these court, and I had to deal with these bitch ass judges. But oh, this is Luke chapter 18, verse 6. And the Lord saith, Hear what the unjust. Oh, I'm going to start on. I think it's like one. And it spoke a parable unto this, that man always to pray and not to faint. And saying, there was a city, in the city a judge which feared not God. So, well, what is now? The judge that's on these earth, these judges in these courthouses and all this stuff, they don't fear. They're wicked, wicked, foolish, dumbass people. Fear not God, because if you don't fear God, you, the wisdom is not in you. Because what did the other oh, scriptures say? The beginning of knowledge is the fear of the Lord. But fear God neither regarded men. He didn't give a fuck about nothing. That there was a widow in the city and she came unto him saying, avenge me of my adversary. And that's what we're saying. We're crying and we're not saying it, but this is a parable. We're crying unto the Lord, and he's a righteous judge, so what do you think? But it is on explaining in a thing. Avenge me by my adversary. And he would not for a while, but after she within herself thought, I fear not God, no regard men. This is what this bitch-ass judge said. Yet because the widow troubled me, I will avenge her, lest by her continuously coming, she weary me. So... The constant thing, like, they're like, oh, you're being annoying. The prophets were annoying as for you. Or you think, yeah, how was, I mean, you think the prophets were killed because they just like, hey, you're, you're beautiful. You're like, no, the prophets don't tell you. It, it, it's annoying to people. It's like, oh, yeah, you, like, <laughs> when you tell people they're, like, the truth, the, the, they find it annoying because they're wicked, bitch-ass people. They can't, they can't handle the truth, so they use that and try to run and all that stuff. They do anything possible to run from the truth. The truth hurts them because they bitch ass people. And the Lord said, hear what the unjust said. And I shall not, and I shall not God avenge his own elect. So that was the unjust said. So what of what, yeah, how will by the I was shy. Well, yeah, how was shy. He was crying, who was praying for us up in the heavens on the right hand of the, how by the was shy is saying, which cried day and night unto him that, that elect, who cried day and night, that's what these apostles and elders of the great millstone, so the apostle Tahar, to all the elders in all, apostle Gabar and apostle Ramlath and apostle Rakal and all the other uh, elders, they're constantly for 30 plus years crying unto the Lord on these bitch ass Edomites and all these heathen. Damn, look at you know, I'm trying to distract. But though he bear long with them, I tell that I will avenge. I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man come, shall find faith on the earth. So the people that were crying, that that's that Ezekiel 9 and 4. Set that mark. And that's how they don't get your exemption. Does this happen? Let me just... Because we got to, at the end of the day, while we crying, we were wicked. We were wicked. We were wicked as hell. And we had to get humble. And that's, this is uh, Proverbs chapter 18, verse 12. Before destruction of the heart, heart of man is haughty, but honor, before honor is humili humility. So we had to, 
we have to understand that we, uh, the Lord loved us. He, we were a wife on him. You know, how women are, they're just getting like, I can do it all by myself. And then when reality sets, it was like, we have to come back on our knees, begging the Lord to forgive us. We love you. We're, we, we're nothing without you. Call Allah, you how about you, shy. Please, Lord. Tired of these fucking wicked people. And that's what we crying and sighing on these highways and by when pride cometh, then come of shame. So when that pride and we just show all you that we ain't shit, we ain't shit. We never been shit. But the Lord was always the reason why we was anything. That's how these women need to get. And they certainly get in humble. Call all your humble by your own shy. But the lowly is wisdom. But the lowly. So coming in that, you how about your own shy coming in that because the Lord didn't come for these, these wicked ass, bitch ass, two thirds. Their pride are the, especially no goddamn Edomite. These Edomites in Salakia, but they are condemned by Yahweh by Shemel Shai. This is a uh, Psalm chapter thirty-four, verse eighteen. The Lord is nigh on them that are broken hearted, and save such be a contrite spirit. So why is He saving these people and all these people? Ah, I can do it. I can get out of this world like these fuck. No, no, you ain't. You ain't shit. You will never be shit. Only the ones that come to the Lord knowing that the Lord was everything that we were, then will be saved. And if you ain't in that spirit, go fuck yourself. Dang, I wanted to get Daniel's nine, but it's getting a little thing. Because the joy of the the joy of the hypocrite is but a moment. And all these people win in this world. Win. Do whatever. You can uh, like say, oh, yeah. We're all. No. Nah. It ain't work like that. Matthew's 19, verse 30. But many that are first shall be last, and the last shall be first. So we we, we going through the hell. We, we we're the last. We're laughed at, cried. Getting oppressed, saying that they ain't oppressed, lying in their our face, but we don't be first in the kingdom. We don't be, and then is when the tables turn. I want to see if they keep the same energy. And I bet not, because everyone knows either my some bitch ass niggas. Uh, <laughs> and it's funny now, man. It's funny now. Edomites are just some bitch ass niggas. But Luke chapter 6, verse 21. Blessed are ye that are hungry now, for ye shall be filled. And blessed, blessed are ye that weep now, for ye shall laugh. And what are we going to be laughing at? I'm going to end up with that. I should I get James 1, 2. I'm going to go. I'm just end off with this, and when we gonna laugh, we like saying or crying or crying. So you keep that same energy, cause the Lord got something for you, bitch ass niggas. This is Proverbs chapter one, verse twenty six, and I will also laugh at your calamity. So since you guys is laughing at the Lord, is going to laugh at. But I'm gonna start at twenty five. But ye have set at not all my counsel, the prophets and elders, and well no. And would none of my reproof. So you guys didn't listen. We crying on too. It's like, like, help me. And well, like, why are you doing this? You're destroying yourself. We doing we all this. This is the Lord was proving, and you didn't. So since you didn't, I will also laugh at your calamity, and I will mock when your fear cometh. And the Lord, yeah, I'm about to outside. So I'm put that spirit on his men too. So with that, I want to give all glory, honors, and praises to Yahweh by Shim, Yahweh Shai by Shimra Kahadas. Shalom, Kwam Yasharala.